Hello everyone and welcome to my video. My name is Marcin and in today's tutorial we are going to talk about saturation, vibrance and saturation again. This tutorial is complete guide on saturation and vibrance. So if you're looking uh, for the information on these adjustment layers and uh, this tutorial deliver you information in details. I will explain you the theory behind these adjustment layers between the different sliders and then we are trying to use this in the practice to compare how does different adjustment layers affect your image. So this is really important um, because I believe whatever we do in Photoshop, whether it's graphic work or photographic work, it's important to know what is happening. And this tutorial is going to deliver that. So let's move to Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I prepared this very special looking image of 12 different colors. I did this because it will help us to understand how the saturation works and how it affects each color. As you can see, uh, the colors are a little bit different on the top and bottom. On the top, the colors have more saturation and are darker. On the bottom, the colors are brighter and have less saturation. We can verify this by opening color and using the eyedropper you can see the differences in value. So the colors change for 30 degrees and in total, as there is 360 degrees, we have 12 different colors. As mentioned, saturation on the top is around 85% and saturation of the bottom of each color is around 25%. And when it comes to the brightness on the bottom, it's around 83% and on the top, it's around 60%. When it comes to the luminance, each color has different luminance. It's just how the color works. And the brighter colors has higher luminance, the darker colors has usually lower luminance. So starting from the beginning, we need to open the different adjustment layers and start comparing the saturation and vibrance. So I'm going to start with hue saturation. Let me rename this into capital letters. That will be everything clear and understandable. That will be the first saturation slider. And then another one is in the vibrance. So this one I'm going to rename into just saturation. And as we also have the other slider, which is vibrance, I'm going to create another layer and this one I will call just as it is vibrance. To test it all, on the top I will create an empty layer which I will name as test. We'll start from the bottom, from the saturation in the hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to drag it to 100% and few things that we can notice right now, the hue value seems to be preserved very well, the saturation and brightness increased. But of course, to verify it all, we will use the help of the colors. So uh, starting from the hue values, from what I can see, the hue values did not change or if change, it's difficult to notice these differences. So there was some one degree somewhere, but it could be just mistake as you can see, depending where we go. So I would assume the hue values wouldn't change. When it comes to the saturation, we have the big increase of the saturation on the bottom, around 30% increase of the saturation. And I will check if each color was affected equally. And from what, from what I see, I noticed that each color on the bottom was affected equally by the saturation. And when we increase the saturation, the saturation reach 100% around the middle and it stays at 100% on the top and on the brightness change feather. So when, when it comes to the saturation, each color was affected absolutely equally. And as you can see in each color, the saturation would reach 100% around the middle. When it comes to the brightness, the brightness was affected also very even across each color. 
and on the bottom the image had more brightness where it reached 100% and of course as the image naturally was darker on the top the brightness started increasing around the middle and got down to around 70% on the top and from what I see each color has the same brightness so equal increase of saturation in and the brightness we can of course verify that by playing with blending modes so i would go to color blending modes such as hue and saturation as i said hue didn't change and i don't see any changes when i change to saturation i can see big changes and as we verified the saturation was increased in same values on every color from at least from what we saw when we switch to the color there is no change between the saturation and the color as the color is these two connected together and when it comes to luminosity of course we have a big increase in the contrast between all of these colors of course the yellow colors have stronger luminance and as you can see the blues are a little bit darker so we can see uh, quite evenly the luminance change so we could assume hue saturation and the saturation affects saturation and the brightness of each color equally let's go back to normal and move to another layer so the next layer will be just the saturation slider and I'm going to open this and increase the saturation slider to 100 once it's done, a few things that I already noticed, uh, changes in the hue values, but as I want to verify everything, we will open the colors and compare. When it comes to the color blues, the hue values did not change much. The green seems to be strongly affected by the changes of the hue, uh, except one that had the hue value at 120 degrees but two others neighboring also got the hue value on one of 120 degrees when it comes to yellow not big change and rather big change when it comes to the oranges in other colors that changes are not significant or barely noticeable so the another thing will be checking the saturation when it comes to the saturation on each color i can see that it's not affecting each color equally from what i noticed the blue is not affected as strongly and moving to other colors i can see the greens are strongly affected and the strongest affected color by the saturation value is yellow especially in the area where it wasn't really uh, saturated to the maximum we reached uh, 100 percent of the saturation so very big increase of the saturation on the yellow and on some other similar colors like greens then oranges and lastly the blue when it comes to the brightness on the bottom we have similar values on the cold colors and as you can see there are brighter values when the colors are cold and the image gets darker when the color is warmer so quite opposite to how saturation affect this image and also the brightness decrease as we go up because the image was darker on the top and also we can see there is difference and the yellows remain uh, darker in fact when it comes to the yellows the values of the brightness seems to be unchanged unlike in the other colors but overall uh, mostly the brightness was affected in the colder colors like blue so now verify it all and check the hue as i mentioned some hue values were different especially when it comes to the greens when it comes to the saturation uh, very uneven saturation strongly affected yellow strongly affected greens but very uneven oranges and lastly and quite evenly uh, least affected color blue when it comes to the luminosity we can see that the brightness of the colors were distributed very uneven and we have big banding so 
it means that it did not affect the colors evenly and also when it's distributed on each color separately the brightness is also not distributed very evenly so let's go back to normal and lastly we are going to test the vibrance i'm going to move vibrance to 100 and from what i can see the result is quite pleasing the saturation of the colors increased quite evenly but of course let's test it all open the colors and starting from the top from what i can see the hue values are a little bit different but the changes are not as strong to bother us when it comes to the saturation saturation was increased from the bottom to the top looking at the top on the colors on all of the colors i can see increase of around 10 11 percent and similar to the orange in the orange i can see the one percent difference so it affects less the saturated oranges but the difference is not as big when it comes to the colors that were not saturated i can see the increase was for 15 or a little bit more percent and when it comes to oranges the oranges seems to be affected the least so oranges that were not saturated uh, much at the start does not seem to catch more of the saturation and the same thing uh, seems to happen to reds although and they maybe catch a little bit more of the saturation seems uh, they also do not catch it as much as oranges so it's interesting oranges and red colors are not as strongly affected by the saturation as other colors and when it comes to the other colors the saturation was distributed quite equally when it comes to the brightness from what i see it does not change or the change is not really significant from the image that we start with so i don't see really the differences i want to compare the oranges and also from what i see the brightness values on oranges and reds also remain the same so let's test it all with hue blending mode as i said very small changes when it comes to the saturation settled increase of the saturation a little bit less on the oranges and uh, reds colors very similar and luminosity and distributed quite equally not as equally as in the case of hue saturation but from what i can see it's not as bad as in the case of the saturation slider so that would be it and of course i wouldn't be myself if we're not going to compare them on real image examples so let's move to the first image and first of all we'll try to test it increasing hue saturation slider to 100 and as you can see the results are not really pleasing huge increase in the saturation hue values seems to be um, even as it was in the case before the face got a little bit red but i believe the tones of the face were like this at the start and what's really make it not useful uh, in this case on the image that the brightness is increased a lot though when we go down and increase will be rather settled um, 10 20 30 saturation the results will be quite pleasing as representation of the hues is quite accurate and increase of the brightness will not be as strong then another saturation layer a vibrance layer with saturation slider greens as mentioned before seems to catch similar hue even though the hue at the start was slightly different the yellows pick up most of the saturation which was also expected the result looks a little bit more natural for the image as in the case in the previous layer which was hue saturation although the yellows make it not really useful probably when we work on the portrait images lastly let's check the vibrance and vibrance give us very pleasing results the saturation spread equally 
and skin tones which are orange are not affected as strong and we got quite pleasing effect moving to a different image i'm moving to the image that this time is strongly saturated starting from the first layer i'm going to go with saturation at 100 percent and the areas that seems to be not saturated got a lot of brightness and not really saturation is up front but the strong and unnatural brightness for the other color like oranges reds i don't see big increase of the saturation and i don't see big increase of the brightness here going to saturation and increasing this to 100 i see huge increase of the saturation in the oranges and what's really interesting the oranges seems to change the hue so actually it was expected thing from the start but i wasn't expected such a huge changes and as you can see it giving unnatural results but overall the all image got increase of the saturation more so than in the previous case seems the hue saturation slider uh, direct what is already saturated and trying to maybe preserve these areas lastly the vibrance increasing the vibrance slider from what i can see uh, not a big change and that was expected the colors that are saturated the values do not increase much i cannot see increase in the oranges which uh, of course are not being as strongly affected by the vibrance though this part of the leaf green here which was a little bit desaturated and part of the background here got more saturated so this image overall looks more even when it comes to the saturation so that is everything a very theoretical video but i believe for everyone who struggle uh, to understand how the colors works how the sliders affects the colors this is a very interesting experiment and it will help you to work with the images it will help you to predict how the colors will react and it will help you to work uh, with the graphics because obviously every of these adjustment layers some of them are more useful for photography some of them will be more useful for graphics some of them will be more useful for certain tasks tasks in photography and some of them for other tasks so thank you for watching and make sure you check the link in the descriptions i still offer free uh, retouching course the course that um, present you essentials of professional retouching so if you're interested uh, check the link in the description visit my page and soon i'm going to deliver another photoshop tutorial thank you and see you soon